Hey everyone, this is Josh from Before. I'm here with the Death Metal Batman from McFarlane Toys DC Multiverse line. And I gotta tell you, I had a hell of a time finding one of these things. Um, so before I get into that whole story, I gotta tell you, uh, I found this, somebody posted on a Facebook group, uh, a shop owner, that they had these in stock. And so I got this from paulmartstore.com. That's like Walmart, except with the name Paul, P-A-U-L martstore.com and they uh, I got this for 25 bucks shipped so uh, it was five bucks extra but after the uh, headache that I've got from Target uh, it was totally worth the extra five bucks because what happened is I had this pre-ordered since uh, you know last year and uh, the time came for them to start shipping and I got a notification that it was delayed uh, and they had they made me approve the delay, which fine, okay, I did that. It got delayed again. I approved it again, and yet they still canceled the pre-order, which just seems ridiculous to me that, like, what, what, I mean, I approved it, so why would you cancel it? And then even if I hadn't approved it, just why, why are you canceling pre-orders? Like, what's the, what's even the point of having one? Like, it doesn't make any sense to me. So that's Walmart and Target now have canceled pre-orders for separate lines. So I found all the other ones from this line or the other ones from this line shipped. And then even like I got the entire last night on Earthwave before I was able to get this. Um, so while I'm here and while I'm really annoyed and mad at Target, um, I'll tell you a little uh, piece of information and you can do whatever you choose with this. Um, Target has decided that um, they uh, certain items, the value of certain items, if you return them, like if you do an online return, it's not worth it for them to ship it. So they will just um, tell you to keep the item and refund the money. So if you were to say maybe do an online order, online order for an item that was like twenty bucks, I mean I don't know what item that you know, I don't I don't know you know what would maybe cost twenty bucks, but uh, if you're able to get it and they ship it to you, uh, and then you say set up an online return they'll tell you to keep the item and refund your money so so anyway let's get into this guy he it looks awesome i've been really stoked to get this and complete the bat cycle i love the way this guy looks here where he's holding this sith is it sith or scythe i never know how to pronounce that his little grim reaper blade on a stick let's call it that you know on the side Death Metal with the logo. This side just says Multiverse. The back has this rad art with him on the Bat Cycle. And I've had the Bat Cycle sitting here with nobody to ride it for like six weeks now, so I'm very uh, excited to get him on there and I'll show you uh, what he looks like on there too. But uh, let's just get going because I've waited long enough. Oh yeah, tons of rubber on that big trench coat so you know this guy's got that new toy smell for days. Uh, the card with the same art, the hockey puck. You know, I said in a previous video, like, that I wouldn't complain about these, but, I mean, at this point I've got, like, 30 of them, and, you know, they rarely even need them, so, I don't know. Considering sometimes this line is, like, light on accessories, maybe they could start shifting over away from the stands more more substantial accessories or alternate hands or what, whatever. And I can already see his scythe is uh, bent a little bit just because like it's a little loose up here, but they crammed it in here. So it's already going to be warped. Um, starting to get a little annoyed with that because, uh, let's see, I've got like what, eight or so of these in the past month and like more than half of them have warped accessories or even the figure itself. So I wish, uh, I wish they would maybe start getting a little more careful about that. Just some first impressions here. This is one of the, um, you know, they kind of, when this line, they, they ping pong, they, excuse me, they ping pong back and forth, um, between very heavily textured characters, um, or like the smoother characters, you know, like, like Red Hood, um, or even Flash, they're more of a the smoother, and they don't, they're not as highly textured. This one is 
on the textured side. This guy's just got like details crammed into every little nook and cranny. This um this trench coat is much lighter than I expected. It's really like it's not that it's thin. Um, it's just very soft and like pliable, which is nice. Feels really good. Just tons of detail. These knee pads are these bads. Just every little buckle on there, all these buckles on here. He's got like a spawn belt, which is really cool. And then I know everybody's everybody's going bananas over this little detail is that he's got the um, black lantern ring. It's just it's cool. It's not like super detail. You know what I mean? Like it's kind of hard to see it in there. For me, the cooler detail was um, the uh, the Arkham Asylum on the bottom of uh, Last Night on Earth Batman's uh, boots. One thing I can tell you right now. Much better, uh, much better wash on the beard here to give him like a stubbly five o'clock shadow. Looks way, way better than um, the Flashpoint Batman, if you ask me. So if, if this is, yeah, if this is what they've landed on for, uh, for doing those washes, it looks a lot better than Flashpoint Batman. It looks a lot better than even um, Mohawk Wonder Woman's, uh, scalp from last night on earth I just love all this leather texture it looks so good I just I not long ago uh, reviewed Shao Kahn from the Mortal Kombat line and it had some of the best leather texture I've ever seen but this looks rad the way they're able to you know sort of do this um, texture on on the rubber material it's really cool really creative and the, and the way they like these buckles are coming off in different directions looks rad so I'm gonna remove his accessories so we can just start moving them around a little bit here see like everything just get they're just not very delicate about the way they cram those in the packaging This has got to be one of the best head sculpts on a Batman. So for today, at least from this line, it looks so good. And I've actually already seen some people put this head on, um, on like the gold label Batman, and it looks a million times better. Let's see. His shoulder's a little stiff here. Let's see what they look like. He's got pretty big clearance there on his jacket. You could probably take this jacket off pretty easily without even popping the arms off. To be honest, that arm's much looser, probably because it was pre-posed in the package. Let's see, can he can he answer the bat phone? He can. I think so. He can get his hand up there. Although, yeah, this jacket kind of gets in the way. love all the details on his gauntlets here these straps and the metal itself is you know got the spikes on it wow just tons of texture his hands you know two separate uh layers of spikes on there this this guy is covered in spikes this guy this guy looks like greg capullo drew him that's for sure This guy's pretty flexible. I mean, I think they, I think they paid extra. Look at that's that's a that's a really good crunch, considering the way some of these have been lately, where they just don't have any ab movement at all. This guy's got a lot of room. See, you can kind of see how much clearance he's got um, in the waist. Um, but uh, yeah, I think they they tried to go all out to give this guy as much um, articulation as possible just so he can fit on that bat cycle um, really well. And of course, yeah, the much much uh, applauded thigh swivel on this one, which is fine. I mean, I like I said before, I don't need, I don't necessarily need these guys to have a thigh swivel, especially, because see, look, he, 
he's got some movement right here. Wow. This guy's super posable. I mean, this guy's going to be... I can't wait to get him on that bat cycle, but... <laughs> Not much knee, even though he's got a double knee, it's just not. Which, I'm going to have this guy sitting on a motorcycle, and that's going to be his permanent position, so. Any any articulation beyond that is just gravy. Very, very severe um, ball joints on the legs, which, uh, you know, I, I, I mention it almost every time because it is just kind of feels like one of the biggest things they struggle with. This, uh, the give and take of like, you know, do they tuck it under there? Do they make it really big and exposed like this? It just seems, you know, they make all, through these waves, they, they have, you know, refined their approach and gotten better at a lot of things, but these ball joints, not not one of the challenges that they've mastered quite yet. Get those lined up. Just, just so you know, this is kind of a public service announcement. Um, sometimes when these ball joints are lined up, like they come out of the box and they're not lined up right away and you got to do some finagling with them. There's two, there's basically two points where the ball joint can rotate. It can rotate where it's attached right here and it can rotate where it's attached to the foot. So sometimes you gotta just get it just right. Um, and, and you have two different sort of axes um, to, to line it up. So, so that's just something to be aware of. Um, and then his Sith here is so cool. Like the blade. Blade's got dings, two separate sort of tones of paint. Paint app is not perfect on, on this one, but. And then just this handle is like textured, wrapped around all the way down. That's awesome. This has got to be one of the best accessories they've done so far. See, so the wood, splintered kind of wood texture, and it's wrapped. Super cool. While I'm struggling with putting this accessory back in his hand, I just gotta say, just like the the wrinkles, the, the details on on the hands is so good. Like the little, like you know, the gloved wrinkles, awesome. All right, so I got this back in his hand. Let's see if I can. Let's see how much struggle it takes to actually get this guy on the bike. I'll let you experience this with me. So this this um his his pelvis piece actually has a lot of give. So he actually can get his legs up very high. Which is nice. I wish they would do that with all those, not just the ones that are gonna ride a motorcycle. Wow, that hand just came off. Cool. Okay. I think that hand coming off was an accidental um, detail from the comic, <laughs> not a jelly roll one, but maybe I'm wrong. So it's actually easier than I expected to get on this bike, I'll be honest. So there he is on the bike, and I, I can't undersell how cool this is, just the the scale of this bike and this figure, and you know, I obviously, clearly you can see from the back here that I'm, I'm pretty uh, bought in, you know, all in on this uh, line, the multiverse line. But if I was somebody who wasn't, you know, I was more picky and choosy about what I wanted. This combo right here, the the figure for twenty bucks and the vehicle for twenty five. That's for forty five bucks. You get a really substantial um, looking, you know, display piece that would look great on your desk. It would look great, you know, on a shelf or, or what have you. Like this this would be where I would where I would maybe get off the fence and I'd be like, all right, I'll, I'll go for that. You just get, you know, what I would say is like a more substantial piece um, for basically the price of two, 
two figures. Um, and you know this um, that kind of this this wraps up the uh, this whole wave here. I'll bring out the other characters here um, to give you my kind of final thoughts on this whole wave because for me, I mean, I just you know I, if you saw I did the whole last night on Earth wave and and that was kind of one of my favorite waves that they've done so far um, in this whole multiverse line. But this wave kind of represents more what I like to see, which is they drop four characters, and this one helps me complete the team of the Dark Knights. This one, you know, fits with some of the more classic, um, classic style comic characters, you know. Um, this as a variant, you know, Superman, which I know... I know there's a lot of complaints about how this is kind of a, a glorified repaint, but my my guess is they saved some cost on this one so that they could put extra into this bat because between the trench coat, um, the different um, cuts for the articulation to make them fit on the bike and stuff, my guess is this guy sort of was more expensive to produce than the rest of these characters so they, they made up for those costs by kind of giving us a short shorthand there uh so yeah this is awesome um really stoked on this this death metal batman and this motorcycle this is going to be kind of one of the one of the highlights I'm, I'm sure now that this whole waves out you'll see my my displays in the background change going forward Get a little bit of a change of pace and freshness there. Uh, and that's uh, that's going to be it for this one. And I will see you guys next time. Bye.